Welcome inside the play. We're here at the Shaw Gymnasium on the campus of Detroit Country Day, home of the eight-time state champion Yellow Jackets. Detroit Country Day coach Kirk Keener is going to take us over the 2-3 zone. The 2-3 zone, when used appropriately, can help you win a high school championship, a college championship, and this past summer, the Dallas Mavericks even used it to win the NBA title. <laughs> coach at every level of the game, you find a 2-3 zone. Give us an idea of why a team would want to utilize it. Typically at the high school level, a team's going to use a 2-3 zone for uh, a couple reasons. Number one, if they feel that the other team has more quickness and speed and can get to the basket to try to cut off driving lanes, or if the other team has more size, a, a real strong big man that they can't ma match up with, they're going, to, they're going to run a zone and probably pack it in and try to limit his opportunities. Certainly we've seen teams utilize it in a lot of varying ways. What are some of the ways from the 2-3 zone set you can cause a lot of havoc on the floor? Well, I think uh, first of all, there's probably three main ways you can use a 2-3 zone. You can run a straight 2-3 zone where the players are just covering areas of the court. Uh, you can use a match-up 2-3 zone uh, where you're gonna where you're gonna shift and move into whatever alignment offense gives you. And then if you really want to take the aggressive approach, you can trap out of a 2-3 zone and you can and run and jump and trap different positions, corners or sidelines uh, where you're hoping to get a trap and create a turnover and off the other way. So we've got our straight 2-3, our matchup, and then we've got some trapping. Coach, give us a demonstration. Okay. <coughs> One of the variations you talked about, maybe if you do have a good shooter, is the matchup. So take us through how you would go into a matchup out of the 2-3 zone. Okay. If we're going to do a matchup, now the zone may start in the 2-3 look, but it's going to shift to match up. So if we bring this player out here to the point and bring this forward out there, now we've moved over, now we've matched up, and, and we've really gone from a 2-3 zone to a 3-2 so zone. you know the people at home are saying, all right, wait a minute, this looks like man-to-man. -man. Is that one of the goals to try and confuse from man to zone the offense? Well, it's not so much that we want to confuse them by looking like a man-to-man, -man. we want to play it like a man-to-man. But we would have, uh, what we teach here at Country Day is a, a few basic rules. We would switch every screen. We would never double team the ball. We have to talk and do what we call bumping as people move because it's pretty easy to match up against the offense when they're stationary. Now, if the offense begins to get some movement, then that makes it much more difficult for, the, for a matchup zone to be, to be effective. So again, let's see it live, the 2-3 oh. out of a matchup. Okay, let's back it up, back it up into the 2-3 and then we'll rotate. Okay, we're still going to run the we're still going to run the opposite, all right. And again, see if we can handle the ball on the on the short corner, even if you have to throw to the outside hand of the player. Yep. Well, that's exactly what you want to turn over. Exactly, we got we got the big guy. Down on the baseline, he tried to get it into the middle, created a turnover, our guards get it, and we're off to go the other way. Well, folks, that does it for us. Thank you for joining us. That's the 2-3 zone. Hopefully now you've learned a little bit more about it. Thank you to Country Day and Kirk Keener for the access. We'll see you next time inside the play. <laughs>